stage, Bob Nowak. Bob, stand up. Right, well, good evening. A little background, I'm a single straight male in Houston, like it or not, inner loop, not many of us left. <laughs> Right, I got no wife, no kids, no girlfriend. Tonight I'm going to sleep alone, and tomorrow I'm going to wake up alone. I've been on a dry streak. I'm scared that for my next orgasm, the only thing that's going to come out is dust. And last week I was in a public... Last week I was in a public bathroom, sat down, got excited, because the seat was still warm. The streak. My close friends are calling me DiMaggio. And those who don't know me as well ask if I date a lot, and I say, yeah, I date here and there, but right now I'm in a holding pattern. And Dad's not much better. He's always asked me, Bobby, did you have a date last week? No, Dad. Bobby, did you have a date the week before? No, Dad. And Dad's always saying, Bobby, I don't understand. When I was your age, I had a long line of women waiting for me. But bless his little heart, he just turned 80, and memory's not what it used to be. And I've, and I've noticed that the older he gets, the longer that line of women was when he was my age. And I think there's nothing like the love a father has for his son to where he'll revise history and make himself look better than his son. Thanks, Dad. Happy damn Father's Day. Fortunately, I got some cool aunts, Aunt Clementine, or Auntie Clem. She was named after the doctor who delivered her and shortened it to Clem. And I said, gee, Auntie, it's good your doctor's name wasn't Horace. <laughs> Aunt Valerie, she's over 80 and feisty as hell. I mean, every time she hugs me, she still grabs my butt. <laughs> I like that old one. <laughs> and Aunt Harriet, Auntie Hare, as in coming out of that mole on her chin. She's a lot more traditional. She always says, when are you going to get married? You're 34 years old. Don't you look forward to your honeymoon? I say, Auntie, with my luck, the first night of my honeymoon is going to coincide with the first night of my wife's cycle. <laughs> Harriet gets this blank look on her face, and Valerie whispers in her ear, that's when Auntie Flo comes to town. <laughs> But I'm a good son. I, I call home every week, and, and uh, being the good only child, I still call collect. <laughs> because they let me. And the other question my dad always asks is how my portfolio is doing. I'm like, oh, great, Dad. It's up 30%. I just bought a new one, CNPC. Dad's like, oh, hold on, son. Let me get a pencil. So you can write down the ticker symbol and follow the market. See, because Dad can't live vicariously through my women, so he does it through my stock. <laughs> And while he's off getting the pencil, Mom's like, Bobby, where do you get all this money to buy more stock? And being a smart ass, I say, Mom, you know all that money I don't spend by calling you collect? <laughs> <laughs> being a smart ass right back, she says, Oh, I thought it's all the money you don't spend by not having dates. <laughs> Thanks, Mom. Happy damn Mother's Day. <laughs> A couple weeks ago, I went home for a little visit, and you know, it doesn't matter how long you've been away from home, whenever you get back to that house you grew up in, it's like you're their little eight-year-old boy again. I mean, first thing I do when I get home, gotta go to the bathroom, and apparently, I forgot about the open-door policy that the family still has. So I'm standing there, and Mom just starts walking in, starts talking to me, and I'm like, hey, hey! She's like, Oh, excuse me, Mr. Shy, in front of his mother. <laughs> like, Mom, a little privacy. I'm not your eight-year-old boy again anymore. And she comes up from behind, hugs me, says, I know you're not my little eight-year-old boy anymore. I say, Mom, I'm missing the phone. <laughs> and Dad's no better. I mean, he'll still find... Make a smelly <laughs> Mom's a little nicer. She calls them bottom burps. <laughs> that'll, st that'll still make the smell. He's like, who bought me the cat did it? <laughs> no longer being the eight-year-old son, I say, Dad, we've never had a cat. <laughs> <laughs> and I look over, and I see a tear. And Dad says, Bobby, you're the sparkle in my eye. I step back. Take a 
deep breath. I swallow. So I love my dad. I, and I just get out just these few words. I say, Dad, that sparkle in your eye, that's your cataract. <laughs> Thank you very much. My name is Bob Noah.